Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Jason and I'm your watch guy today. Now today, again, I have an unboxing video. And it's from a brand that you've seen plenty of times on the channel, but not one that I've done very recently. So I kind of wanted to get one of their little bargains in and see what you guys thought of it. Now this one was suggested to me in the comments by a guy going by the name of Bob Marley. Uh, I don't know if that's your real name, Bob, but that's what we're going to call you today. He advised me that Amazon had a really good deal on it at the moment, down to about £16.50 or something. And at that price, I thought, how can I not get this in when someone's asked? And it's so cheap. So today, I have the Casio W800H. And you guys know how I feel about Casios. So without further ado, I'm going to turn this camera around and we're going to get into the unboxing. So we have the classic Casio box. Uh, now, as I said, this was on special offer when I bought it on Amazon for about £16.50. I'll leave my affiliate link for Amazon in the description. I'm not too sure what the price will be at that point. So let's get this out of the box and see what we've got. As always, little plastic bag covering the watch. This is the classic Casio boxing, so you've seen this a million times on my channel, let alone others. Obviously, the manual just in the back there, we're not going to... We're not going to need that today, so I'm going to leave it in there. Pop the Casio box back together. Let's take this little cushion out and unpackage it. You won't believe how many of these boxes I've got in my cupboard right now. It's getting ridiculous. Let's pop them down there, put all the packaging back. Here we have them. Now, I thought that it, this was going to be a really oversized display. Well, actually, it is a really oversized display, but it's not an oversized watch. From what I can see, I think it's actually well proportioned. I'm going to take these tags off. We have the Casio signed buckle, which I'm always amazed at, at this price range. I don't know how they fit so much into a watch when they're only charging less than £20 on most of them. It's crazy. Absolutely brilliant by Casio, as always. That's why they're one of my favourite watch brands. As well as the fact that they're accessible to pretty much everyone. Now, don't get me wrong, I love... Walking around with a tag, Longines, Hamilton, the likes on my wrist. Obviously brilliant watches. Casio just do something a little bit different. And they're always very affordable. They're really the working man's watch, I think. Here we have it. Let's take this little plastic off. Let me zoom in here. Tell me that display isn't brilliant. How legible is that, please? We have, obviously, the date complication at the bottom here with the year... And we have the day at the top with the time in the middle. Now let's go through the functions and see what we've got. Okay, so we have the alarm, stopwatch. Okay, we have a microsecond reader there too. And look, it, it swapped the time into the bottom corner for you so you'd still know what time it is. Tell me that's not a perfect function for a runner. I think I found a new running watch. That's brilliant. Reset it. Oh, nope, that's the light. Right, I am going to set this time and then I'll go into the functions for you. So I've set the time to the right date and obviously time. This watch has plenty of functions, as you'd expect from a Casio. Even at this price range, they have plenty of functions. So we have the standard time, which you can set to 12 hour, 24 hour. I like the 24 myself. We have the light, as you'd expect, in the bottom corner here. An alarm function, a stopwatch function, and a dual time function. So that's pretty much a GMT, right? I think this is actually a really good option for any Casio lover or anyone looking for a cheap work watch or a running watch, something like that. I was completely unaware of this model, like I was, until our mate Bob told me about it. So thank you very much for that, Bob. I think you've unearthed an absolute bargain for me here. This is definitely one that you should be looking at to put into your collection, especially if you don't have a Casio like this. The display on it is absolutely massive, and I think that's a big win because it really does add to the legibility of the watch, which you know I'm big on legibility. Another thing is that this one's actually 100 meters water resistant. I think that's brilliant for a watch at this price. And I don't think I'd be too worried about maybe taking this one swimming, maybe snorkeling. I think that'd be a good option, to be honest. The rest of the watch is pretty much standard as Casio goes. We have this resin band, resin case, and a stainless steel back. Uh, I'm not too sure if this is a 10-year battery life, so I'll have to look into that one. Well, I don't have to look too far, do I? Casio labeled them. 10-year battery life, right there. 
So I'm gonna put this one on wrist for you so you can see what it looks like on my 6.2 inch wrists. And yeah, I'm quite happy with this one. I'm actually really made up of it. You know what, I haven't worn a Casio Casio in a good while. Obviously I've had this uh, edifice on wrist, but I forgot how comfortable and light and just, I don't know, there's something about wearing a Casio that really makes me feel quite nice. I think it's just the fact that I'm not in any way worried about what's on my wrist. It just does what it does and it does it well. Again, I think this is an absolute winner for anyone's collection. I'm going to go out and say something big here, but I think the W218 has a little bit of competition here. Maybe this is a new King of the Casios. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. So guys, that is the Casio W800H. And I love it. I've, like, genuinely. I've had it on this for like two seconds. I love this watch. It's, it's perfect. So you guys may not know, but I am a big Casio fan. And that doesn't mean that I'm not a big fan of high-end watches. I am. I love high-end watches. Love them. But I think every collector should have a space in their collection for a Casio. Perfect example, right? Working the other day, someone brings in a Bretland Aerospace titanium model from 2001, and he wanted to sell it. Now we got to talking, I was talking to him about the watch, obviously, just making small talk, and I saw a watch on his wrist, stainless steel, looks really nice. So I thought, hmm, what's this guy wearing? So I asked them, and it turned out to be a Casio. And that that's what I mean. Like, these watches are universal to so many people and there's just something about them. There's just something about that brand, something about how nice, legible, easy wearable watches they are. And there's a reason that Casio is such a big player in the watch game today. So guys, the affiliate link's in the description. If you want to use that, I'd be very grateful. Obviously, I get a kickback and you don't pay any extra. Just tell Amazon that I sent you. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you're not new to the channel, thank you for being here so long. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for the likes. Maybe suggest the channel to a couple of friends. You know, help me out a little bit. Thank you for watching this, guys. I will be back very soon with a little bit more content for you. I'll see you in the next one.